Okay, start. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters. For all of you, is that do all of you have your own role models? Yes. Oh yes. 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 Well, I know that okay. people's role model athletes like LeBron James or David Beckham, or you can be like political celebrities such as Obama, and you can be like also intelligent person such as Steve Bill Gates. Oh, Joel. Oh, okay. It can be one of them. <laughs> so um, for me, I my own. Is girls' generation, so you may think like, oh, oh K-pop again. So it's, it may be uh, quite, uh, quite not a popular one for setting them as role model, or someone may not like them as much. But for me, I think that they impact me in uh, various ways, and these ways are not, not like I didn't, I not like in parts of singing or dancing, something like that, but uh, in ways that I didn't even thought they could. So firstly, I think that they uh, affect me in the physical way. So it was quite strange because I didn't, I didn't even met them in person. So how would they affect me in the physical way? So uh, in my secondary for my uh, PE teacher asked us to run nine minutes non-stop during the class. So, is, I want to ask you, is this a difficult task for you, all of you, like running nine minutes non-stop? Mm. Is it not non-stop? So, for Some. me, like, um, At first it is. a person who mm. don't exercise regularly, I feel like this is... At first, I also think that this is quite, like, quite easy one, like, nine minutes is so fast to pass. But, like, I... After four to five minutes, I start to slow down my pace because I feel like, oh, I cannot breathe regularly after that. Yeah, it's so um, already. And, but I don't want to like being uh, led by my whole, my all classmates and go to the back of the whole class. So at that time I thought of the training periods that the members of Girls' Generation got before they debuted as they had trained uh, three to seven years. And during that time they trained and sing and dance non-stop during that time just for the chances of getting the build. And at that time I asked myself is that the remaining four to five minutes really so unbearable for me to like run through it but uh, so the answer for me at that time is certainly no. So I tried to push myself at that time and motivate myself to uh, get through that few minutes. And uh, after this uh, unexpected non-stop running I feel like uh, the I enjoy more jogging than before because like I feel like I can do something that I cannot do before find out that uh, there are still someone that are way work harder than me so in another side is that uh, in the emotional side I think they impact me quite a lot as uh, when I was in secondary one or two my uh, my emotional are uh, like easily affected by others. I will be easily off by someone's action that I dislike. So um, during the five years of fangirling over them, I find that a lot of public or the fans of other groups will criticize them on either thing they think that they deal with properly. Like some of the member may not may make mistakes during their performance and they will criticize that they didn't practice well. So, um, but the way the members react may, um, make me find that uh, it is not, it is not we, we do not have to like being very depressed because of the criticize, but we can like even thank you those people who point out your weakness and your fault that you can, you can know which way that, which at which aspect you can do more to uh, learn to improve yourself. So uh, this I really appreciate. After this realization, I appreciate those people who point out my weaknesses so that I can work out on them, uh, on them, and then like improve myself to and uh, know how to better myself. And the third part would be the spiritual side, as uh, there are lots of examples that. Uh, in their action or their words inspires me and 
A typical example would be uh, when I was in Hong Kong, I failed my first public examination and couldn't get admitted into a university. But like, after that, I have to uh, participate in the associate degree and at the same time, I need to retake some certain subjects like to have another chance to get into a university. So during that time, I feel like I'm under a great pressure. But um, at that time, I, I found out that um, a member of the girls' group uh, has replied a similar situation that raised by her fans, saying that um, all uh, the students was rejected by all universities she applied. And the member replied her that, um, she should not blame herself or feel very sad at this time. And if she, she thinks that um, the student can, should think carefully of what she didn't do well before. And she mentioned that a crisis is also, also a chance for her. So this is an opportunity for her to challenge what she, what she really desired again. So um, after this, I've identified that my own problem would be I will be easily distracted by other stuff and I cannot focus on one thing. So I decided to drop off from the associate degree and focus on re retaking subjects. So, and I end up standing here in front of all of you. So, what I want to bring up is that um, I'm not talking about worshipping those um, ro role models, but it is very, I think it's very important for us to get encouraged by someone you admire and then you will have the desire to promise her or him that you will do better in the future. So for me, uh, my role model motivates me and they also uh, give me direction when I was lost. So I think that uh, they encourage us in a good way and sets good practice for us is very good. So I don't know uh, whether um, you all may have think of someone that your role model may, may did the same way as, as me experienced just now. So um, if you got a role model, so I hope you will treasure them. And if you, if you did not, I suggest all of you to like find someone that mm. who could really inspire you and support you when you meet difficulties. Thank you.